Coming up on this Valentine's Day edition of Hashtag That, Brooke and I talk about everything this, val this Valentine's Day has to offer from food to the perfect outfit. And we discuss the Grammys, q and what we think is the best Ben & Jerry's ice cream flavor. We are your source for Quinnipiac Entertainment News. Welcome to Hashtag That. I'm Kayla Heavey. And I'm Brooke Riley. The Student Programming Board held a Grammy viewing party this past Sunday in the Piazza. Despite the snow and cold weather, students gathered to watch the award show with free pizza, popcorn, and prizes. Some of the prizes included a portable charger or a Bluetooth speaker. This event brought in many students to watch the celebrities walk down the red carpet and bring home the awards. From the Grammys to tacos, Carrie Golden is here with us this week's trending topics. Carrie? Thanks guys, welcome to this week's edition of Trending Topics. Obviously, we all know that this past Sunday was the Grammys, which caused all social media to explode. One of the most talked about topics on Twitter was Chance the Rapper, who ended the night with three Grammys, including Best New Artist, Best Rap Performance, and Best Rap Album. On top of all that, he also gave a killer performance, which left the audience and viewers at home speechless. Another most talked about celebrity was, of course, Queen B. Both Beyonce and her daughter Blue Ivy received the biggest mention spikes during the 2017 Grammys. Her album Lemonade was also the most mentioned album during the Album of the, ne of the Year announcement. The next trending topic this week, yes, Valentine's Day, but not for the cute couples. All the single ladies and men out there got hashtag Singles Awareness Day trending on Twitter this morning. Many people tweeted the perks of being single, such as having more money in your wallet, or not having to dress up today and use the hashtag. Last night, hashtag The Bachelor was trending after ABC announced the newest bachelorette, Rachel Lindsay. This made headlines for multiple reasons as Rachel was the first black lead in the show's 33 seasons. In addition, the announcement was unexpected as Rachel is still competing on the current season of the show. It was strange for the show to spoil Rachel's fate on this season, but overall, people were very excited about the newest bachelorette. The final trending topic this week is my favorite one, hashtag Taco Tuesday. Not only is today Valentine's Day, but it's also Taco Tuesday, which basically gives people an excuse to go buy a taco. For some restaurants, they even have $1 tacos just because. But not to worry for all the single people out there this Valentine's Day, Taco Bell has your back. That's all I have this week for this week's trending topics. Now back to the desk. I think we can all agree that texting a guy you like can be the most confusing thing to do. That's for sure. Hannah Cotter and Paul Caracciolo sat down to discuss the do's and don'ts of texting. Hey guys, Paul Caracciolo here, joined by Hannah Cotter. Hannah, we're going to be discussing different text message things. You should, be, you should be saying what you shouldn't be saying with that special someone. You know, a little bit of Valentine's Day action. What's good, what's not. All right, you know let's what I'm get saying? into it. Let's yeah. get into it. Well, I feel like it kind of depends where you are in the relationship. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like when you first start talking, yeah. it's not necessary to be like, oh, good morning, yeah. good night. Like smiley face emoji. Yeah, but yeah. later on, like as you get more attached and as you talk more, probably about maybe like, I don't know, a few weeks in, mm -hmm. I feel like you should send a morning text when you wake up. Like, don't mm -hmm. play games, don't try to hold off and wait yeah. for them to text you. Just whoever wakes up first, just shoot a text. I know, play it by ear, too. Like, not every relationship's the same. Right. I know, I'm, uh, I kind of do, I kind of do the, um, I'll, if they haven't texted me yet, I'll just kind of find the excuse to be like, OMG, look at this puppy video tweet or something like that. I don't know, like something stupid, whatever gets their like, attention. Like, oh, hey, I'm, I'm alive. Are you alive right now? Yeah. Great, let's talk. Um, you know, nighttime, I think it's a little different. I'm kind of a stickler. Like, even if it's not like, I don't want like, I always want a good night. I mean, not, not even if it's not like a good night heart, like a long good night text. Like, even if we're just friends, like if I was texting you, I'd, I'd want you to be like, oh, well, okay, it's night time, I'm going yeah, to bed, well, it's good just, night. It's considerate. It's considerate, I like to do that. Yeah. I mean, I like when I get that. If I don't get that, I'm kind of a, I'm just like, hey, well, okay. I didn't know you fell asleep last night, good night. Like, yeah. I'm yeah. a big good night stickler guy. That's just me, though. Yeah. Um, I think there's never a bad time, even if it's friends, even if you're still dating for like a year, I think it's always a good, good idea just to say good night. You don't want to just stop answering. Right, right, You don't right, want to right, just right. stop answering. Typically, if I'm trying to get someone's interest, um, I usually will send a meme. <laughs> <laughs> or big meme girl. I'm a here, big right? meme person. Yeah, I think yeah. they're hilarious. So I'll send like a meme or something funny that I saw, mm -hmm. or I'll say like, "Hey, I'm doing this crazy thing right now," or something like an attention grabber. You know, you don't want to just be like, "Hi." Hey, you up? Don't don't yeah. hit me with the you up. No, don't hit me with the you up. Oh, 
W-Y-D? W-Y-D, no, no, no. no. no See, so I'm like, if I'm trying to start the conversation, it depends who it is. I mean, I remember when I was, um, a couple of girls I talked to, like, they're kind of geeky, like, a little, like, a little nerdy size, like, they'll appreciate, like, a corny pickup line. And, oh, like, yeah. They know I won't Everyone mean it. appreciates Ex the corny See what I mean? Lines. I mean, you kind of just say it to say it to be funny, to be charming. You don't yep. really say it to be, like, hey, what's cooking? Good looking. Like, right, and, right. and mean it. You don't do right, that. Right, you don't mean it. And if I usually, if I'm, like, kind of talking to a girl or something, and I see something that reminds me of her, I'd be like, hey, I just saw this thing that reminded me of you. Right. Like, I'm going to let you know. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And that's kind of how the conversation will start. Yeah. Out. Qthon is a little over a month away, and registration is in full swing. Qthon is a dance marathon that raises money for the Connecticut Children's Medical Center. Recently, they have been ta tabling often to raise awareness for their FTK event and collect donations. To go along with the season, they sold roses for Valentine's Day. This past Monday, the Student Muslim Association held a Rose Day. In the Student Center, students could pick up a free rose and donuts. Attached to the rose was a quote from the Prophet about Islam. The Student Government Association hosted an event in the piazza yesterday titled Students Speak on Love. Students were invited to go on stage and discuss what love means to them. Some sang and played instruments to love songs, while others discussed relationships that they have been in or witnessed. Students were able to express their feelings to the audience. SGA provided free pizza for all the attendees. This past Sunday, the Grammys were on. Brooke, did you watch them? I did. They weren't as good as I expected, but... Really? I, I was a little disappointed. I didn't get a chance to watch them, but I read all about it. I read <laughs> all of the articles about the fashion and all that yeah. kind of stuff. So who was your favorite fashion? What was your favorite outfit? Fashion outfit? Mm, that's a tough one. I, I mean, some of them were really interesting, but I kind of did like Adele's. I agree. It looked good on her. The green dress definitely suited her well. Mm -hmm. I kind of liked it as well. It's a little different, but... It is, but she works it. You know? Exactly. It definitely it fits her well. I definitely, I agree. Her, Adele was one of my favorites yep. as well. She won so many awards that night, too. She did. I was so impressed. Yeah. And she deserved them. No, definitely, for sure. It was I agree. interesting that she gave it to Beyonce, though. Yeah, right? I guess they were saying yeah. that, I don't know if she broke it in half on purpose, but another woman that looked really pretty was Carrie Underwood. Yes, she Carrie Underwood. She looked so good in that dress. And let me tell you, she killed her performance. Yes, definitely, for yeah. sure. I agree with that. And I think the red dress just suited her so well. Yeah, definitely a good color for her. Yeah, I agree. You know, she kind of matched the red carpet, too. Yeah. So there we go. There's that. <laughs> Katy Perry, though. Mm. Thoughts on that one? Not crazy about it. That is a weird outfit. That skirt oh. and, ugh. Is it a skirt and shirt, or is it a dress? I don't dress? even know. Like, Definitely not something I would think about wearing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Seriously. But, I mean, I almost feel like the color looked good on her. Yeah, I mean, the color worked with, like, her hair color and everything, yeah. but... Yeah, I know. Color-wise, I kind of She always it. goes with interesting outfits. Yeah, that's true. That's just Katy Perry for yeah. So what do you expect? She's like another Lady Gaga. I know. <laughs> CeeLo Green. Another interesting um, one. Yeah, right? I'm not sure what he was trying to accomplish with that look. Looks like a gold tin man, maybe? Yeah, right? I know. That's kind of what it looks like. Um, but It's really weird. But yeah. I'm whatever sure what to you vote. I guess so. If you want to rock the red carpet in that outfit, then go for it. Yeah. And, and he did. You know, good for him. When we come back, we have this week's trending topics and entertainment news update. Stay with us. Hello, Quinnipiac hockey fans, and welcome to the Neutral Zone. Definitely St. Lawrence, and I think you're going to see the test coming up real soon. It might be having a bit of an adjustment issue without that CBS line, but don't count them out. At High Point Solutions Arena, at in game two of Quinnipiac versus Northeastern Series. It's 9.30 Eastern, and you know what that means. Sports Pause is on the air. We have ball played up the middle. Come on, Will, with a little cheat off the pipe. Preseason just boils down to going after another national championship and not necessarily focusing on the, on the one before. And Jane, it's time for our favorite part of the show. It's the top five plays of the week, brought to you by B&B Deli, home of the Q-Dog. Let's, let's talk about the first play you want to break down. Yeah, let's break it down right away. But the one name I'm going to throw out there is a freshman, Mika Maples. Coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, and hashtag that. We 
are your source for Quinnipiac's entertainment news. Coming up on Bobcat Breakdown. Coming up on Bobcat Breakdown. And welcome into Studio 125. So what? So what? Points. If you score 40 points in a basketball game, we all know you play Quinnipiac in the rails. We all this know is, you love to shoot the rock. Well, if, if you think that's the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard, what, am I, what I'm about to say, I guess, is going to be pretty ridiculous in your book, but I'm going to say yes, there is a controversy. I'm line, getting ready to punch the ball as it lands right in front of another monument of player. So obviously today is Valentine's Day. That's true. February 14th is the day. Um, so if you could have an ideal Valentine's Day date, what would it be? You know, this sounds kind of crazy, but I am a huge Disney fan. So I would love to spend Valentine's Day in Disney World. How fun would that be? Oh, it would be amazing. I can agree with you on that one. I think it would be so fun to mm -hmm. just spend the day in the parks, maybe, you know, Magic Kingdom. Yep. You get the fireworks at the end of the day. Exactly. There's so many nice You could even get a park hopper pass and go around. That's true. Take the monorail out to one of the re restaurants and the hotels. I, that's a good idea. Yep. I could, that sounds like a good date to me, too. Yep, <laughs> For sounds sure. good. So, Kayla, who would you want to be your celebrity date? Okay, I was going to say this is a hard one, but it's actually not. Derek Huff. Really? Yes. Derek Huff is my favorite. The, he's an actor. He's a dancer. Uh -huh. He sings. I've seen him live twice now, and I'm seeing him live again in April. Oh, I'm and I, very jealous. Yes. I'm going to the show with his sister, but I would totally go on a date with him. I totally go on a you date You know, I got to say Zac Efron. That's a good he's had me since High School Musical back however many years ago that was. Yes. <laughs> You could but. be like the Vanessa Hutchins. Exactly. He's got the looks, the singing. He's got it all. Exactly. You could even sing on the date. Yeah. There you go. Make him sing to me. That's, uh -huh. That is perfect. All right. So now go to the little would you rather style question. Would you rather get a lot of Valentine's Day from people you don't know too well or one Valentine from a person you know really well? I think I'd rather get one from someone I know really well because yeah. like it's kind of weird just to get it from a bunch of random people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like it's more special to get it from somebody that you actually like have a connection with. Yeah, no, I agree with that. It's definitely, there's more of a connection with it almost if you know the person exactly. really well. I mean, it is nice to get a bunch of Valentines oh, yeah, from but people, but I guess also if it's from your friends and stuff, you know, yeah. that'd be fun to get a whole bunch <laughs> of Valentines. Just, you know, kind of depends. Oh, yeah. But I agree. Getting it from one person that's special to you is probably the ideal. Definitely. So would you rather have chocolate or flowers as a gift? That's a hard one. I guess to me, it depends on the chocolate. You know, it's like the Russell Stover. Russell Stover. So, yeah, that's the name mm -hmm. of them. Um, then I would be fine with that. But flowers are nice, too. Yeah. I mean, it's really easy for me. Everybody thinks I'm crazy, but I do not like chocolate. OK. And so definitely flowers. I mean, they don't last too, too long. But if you get the right ones, they might. That's true. But would the chocolates last that long, either? That's true. <laughs> for some I people. I pretty quickly, I know. I know. But I guess, I guess I'll have to go with the chocolates. Yeah. I like those. That sounds pretty good right now. With all the talk about the Grammys this week, we have Brenna Oricoli to talk about that and more with our entertainment news update. Thanks, guys. As if 10 Grammy Awards weren't enough, Adele added to her collection by accepting five more awards. She won Album of the Year, Song of the Year, and Record of the Year, just to name a few. In her speech for Song of the Year, the singer said she wished Beyonce's album, Lemonade, had won the award. Adele ended her speech by breaking her Grammy in half. It's unclear whether this was an accident or if it was meant to be shared with Queen Bee. In more Grammy news, Chance the Rapper took home his first ever Grammy, and not just one, but three. Chance is the first artist to ever win a Grammy for a streaming-only album, and the first black artist in 18 years to win Best Rap Album of the Year. He celebrated his success at the GQ after party. There must be something in the water in Hollywood because Beyonce isn't the only one expecting twins. George Clooney and wife Amal announced that they are having twins. The 55-year-old actor and 39-year-old human rights lawyer are having a boy and a girl. The couple has been married for two and a half years. Amal is due in June. Best wishes to the happy couple. That's all I have for your entertainment news update. I'm Brenna Oracoli. Now back to the desk. When we come back, we debate all things for Valentine's Day. Stay with us.
On Bobcat Breakdown. Coming up on Bobcat Breakdown. And welcome into Studio 125. So score what? So what? Points. If you score 40 points in a basketball game, we all know you play Quinnipiac and Rails. We all this know you love to shoot the rock. Well, if, if you think that's the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard, what am I? What I'm about to say, I guess, is going to be pretty ridiculous in your book. But I'm going to say yes. There is a controversy. I'm line, getting ready to punch the ball as it lands right in front of another Monmouth player. Coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up and hashtag that. We are your source for Quinnipiac's entertainment news. special day can be very difficult. No need to worry because Shanna McCarrison is here with some outfit ideas to wear this Valentine's Day. Shanna, what do you have for us? All right, thanks guys. So here are some Valentine's Day outfit ideas for everyone at home. So my favorite thing to say is when in doubt, overdress. So I kind of like to dress up, even if it's just for class. So a pink or red sweater paired with a skirt and some cute tights is a really great outfit for Valentine's Day. Now, if you want to be a little more festive, you can get some pink tights or some red tights for the day. And it doesn't have to break the bank. Tights are really cheap, so pick them up at, you know, Marshalls or something and have a really cute outfit for February 14th. So if you want to be a little bit more casual, a little bit more comfortable, but you still kind of want to be festive for the day, you can wear a red sweater and some jeans or maybe a cute pink sweater and some jeans. Um, you can really never go wrong with even an oversized sweater and a pair of ripped jeans or black jeans. Now, not everyone likes Valentine's Day for whatever reason, so maybe you don't want to wear pink or red at all. Maybe you want to go all black um, to kind of show, you know, I'm not about this holiday. Um, that's one option for sure. Another option is making it more of a Galentine's Day. Curl up on the couch with some of your girl squad, watch your favorite chick flick, eat some chocolate, and some, maybe some Ben and & Jerry's and a comfortable sweatshirt and leggings outfit. That's kind of like the best way to just relax, chill, not make it um, a really big deal the day. Um, if you want to go out for a nice dinner with your significant other tonight, maybe you don't want to go full on pink or full on red, but you want to add a little touch here and there. So accessories are the perfect way to do that. A pink necklace, some red earrings, or even a really nice manicure. Never underestimate the value of a good manicure, everyone. So that can really take your outfit to the next level and you don't feel like you're dr dressing in the typical Valentine's Day colors. Cute purse, if you don't want to do the accessories, is also a great way to kind of dress up your outfit and make it festive without being in your face. So, happy Valentine's Day, everyone, and back to you guys at the desk. There are a few special holidays for those in a relationship, Valentine's Day and their anniversary. It's hard to say which day is worth celebrating more than the other. Kayla, what do you think is more special? Personally, I almost feel like Valentine's Day is more special in the sense that it's the day of love. It's a day to really, really? prove that, I mean, it's kind of a toss-up, but I think Valentine's Day is just a day to really prove that, you know, you love the one you're with, and it's just a day of love, so I feel like that makes it so special. You know, I kind of think the anniversary is, because, like, yeah. that's the day that people got married, so they're, like, reminiscing on the memories that they made over the years and counting the years that they've been together, and even if they're not married, like, boyfriend and girlfriends have their anniversaries and stuff like that, yeah. so I feel like that's kind of important to celebrate, too. Yeah, I can see that, it's especially if you're, cool. yeah, I can see if you're married, especially, the anniversary yes. would definitely be an important day. But for boyfriend and girlfriend, I, obviously the days they're dating is an important day as well, but I don't know, I feel like Valentine's Day is just a fun yeah. way to celebrate. It's a nice like little thing to have in yeah. the middle. No, exactly, <laughs> exactly. 
Many people know February 14th as Valentine's Day, but another name for this is Singles Awareness Day. If you don't have a boyfriend or girlfriend to post cute Valentine's Day pictures with, you can post a good looking selfie, you with your best friends, or even some food. So Brooke, which one would you rather be celebrating, Valentine's Day or Singles Awareness Day? No, I think I'd rather celebrate Singles Awareness Day. Really? Yeah, because yeah. there's a lot of single people out there and you sure. can't help like, I feel like a lot of people look down upon this day. I mean, for me, not really, but yeah. I feel like, I don't know, it's like something that more people need to say it's okay to not have a boyfriend or girlfriend. That's true. But also at the same time, Valentine's Day doesn't have to be about a boyfriend or girlfriend. It can just be about celebrating it with your friends. You that's know, true. they always say the Galentine's Day. Yep. Um, so that's a fun way to celebrate. Yeah, I know well. my floor I think is doing a Galentine's Day thing tomorrow night or something. But there you go. So yeah, yeah it's Valentine's nice to have day, things like that. Not only a day for just your boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife, you know, it's a exactly it's a loving day for all, you know, friends as well. <laughs> People have a different idea on their ideal Valentine's Day date. Some would rather go out and do something fun, like bowling, ice skating, or the movies, where others would prefer dressing up and going to a fancy restaurant and having dinner. Kayla, which would you rather? This is tough, but again, I think I'm gonna have to go with, because it's such like a fancier type of day, I'm gonna have to go with like a nice fancy dinner. Really? Yeah. I also like dressing up. You know, I have so, to agree with you on that. Yeah. I do like dressing up and going out. Yeah. But sometimes it's nice to try and do something a little different, a little fun, like yeah. be adventurous. No, it's true. You know, but you could do that all the time. That's true, too. I suppose too. you could go to a fancy restaurant all yeah. the time, too. But I think there's something about Valentine's Day that I just feel like I want to dress up and look nice and yeah. go out on maybe, I guess, a movie and dinner could work. Kind yeah, of that would be the nice. Two in a way. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling dinner. Maybe I'm just hungry. But right now, <laughs> yeah, fancy dinner too. sounds pretty good. <laughs> After the break, we ask Q30 members what their favorite Ben and Jerry flavor is. We'll be right back. It's 9:30 Eastern, and you know what that means. Sports pause is on the air. We'll have ball played up the middle. Come on, Will, with a little cheat. Off the preseason just boils down to going after another national championship and not necessarily focusing on the on the one before. Jane, it's time for our favorite part of the show. It's the top five plays of the week brought to you by B&B &B Galley, home of the Q-Dog. Hey, let's, let's talk about the first play you want to break down. Yeah, let's break it down right away. But the one name I'm going to throw out there is a freshman, Mika Maples. Coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up on hashtag that. We are your source for Quinnipiac's entertainment news. Hello, Quinnipiac hockey fans, and welcome to the Neutral Zone. Definitely St. Lawrence, and I think you're going to see the test coming up real soon. It might be having a bit of an adjustment issue without that CBS line, but don't count them out. At High Point Solutions Arena at in game two of Quinnipiac versus Northeastern Series. Traveled to Columbia and documented it all in this week's Snapchat That. Hola, hashtag. This is Dora Labat here in Bogota, Colombia. I'm here for the 16th World Summit of the Nobel Peace Laureates. So far, I've been on a tour. There's been a couple of concerts and a lot of sessions for the Nobel Peace Prize recipients. This was one of the many concerts at the summit. Colombian pop rock band Uraba Conexión performed many songs along with other native bands. The different types of Colombian music include cumbia, champeta, merengue, salsa, calypso, pop, rock, zouk, 
and many more. I couldn't decide which was my favorite, so I asked the native. Um, my favorite kind of music would probably be Spanish rock kind of music. I really like the lyrics and what they represent of our country. What do you like to do for fun here? Um, I like to go to museums. Also, I like to hang out with my friends, probably go to um, like a bar or something and listen to music and just have a good time. Now let's take a quick tour of Bogota, Colombia. Ben and Jerry's is a popular ice cream flavor with creative names. We asked Q30 members what their favorite flavor is. Let's take a look. Hey, hashtag, my favorite Ben and Jerry's flavor is Cherry Garcia. I know it's a little strange, but I can't get enough of it. Cherry ice cream with chunks of cherry. I pick out for the chunks of cherry and chocolate chunks. It's delicious. What's up, hashtag Chris Dacey here. Favorite Ben and Jerry's flavor has to be fish food. Best one on the market. Hey guys, it's Anna from the newscast, and my favorite Ben and Jerry's ice cream flavor is fish food. Hey guys, Matt McAuliffe here. I would have to say my favorite Ben and Jerry's flavor is chocolate chip cookie dough because it's the perfect combination of sweet and savory. Hey, hashtag my name's Callie Keys, and my favorite Ben and Jerry's flavor is chubby hubby. Hey guys, it's Rico from QU Tonight. And my favorite Ben & Jerry's flavor is chocolate therapy, because I just love chocolate. Hi guys, my favorite flavor of Ben & Jerry's is the half-baked flavor, because I love cookie dough, and it also has brownie in it as well. Hey, hashtag Paul Crunchyroll here. You know, the interesting question, Ben & Jerry's, um, not many Ben & Jerry's around me. I'm, kind of, I'm from Pennsylvania, ironically wearing a Vermont shirt, totally by accident, by the way. Um, but I'd have to go with brownie batter, and a lot of jokes regarding BJ's and that double meaning right there. So, uh, a lot right there. Hey, hashtag happy Valentine's Day. So my favorite flavor ice cream from Ben & Jerry's has to be the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup one because they put full Reese's Cups in it and I absolutely love it. Sometimes I just scoop out just the Reese's Cups, but that's my favorite Ben & Jerry's flavor. Hopefully, I'll have a lot on Valentine's Day. Those are all some good choices. Kayla, yeah. what's your favorite flavor? Okay, my favorite flavor is half-baked. It's the best, but not just half-baked. At some of the Ben & Jerry stores, you can get it in a milkshake. So yeah, it's the regular ice cream in the form of a milkshake, and then there's chunks of cookie dough in the milkshake. It is so good. Now, I haven't been to Ben & Jerry's in a while, but I really love birthday cake ice cream. Okay. And I don't know if they have it there. Oh, I feel like they have to. But yeah, that's definitely my favorite flavor of ice cream of all time. Oh, yeah. I wish there was one kind of around here. I mean, yeah. I would go all the time, yeah. all the time. I know there's one. I don't one, know of any near here. There's one in Mohegan Sun, which is probably okay. about a half hour away. Okay. I would make the drive. Yeah. Mohegan Sun's a nice place. Do some shopping, get some Ben and Jerry's. Yeah. I mean. The only times I've ever gone to Ben and Jerry's are in either Myrtle Beach or Lake George on vacation. <laughs> we can go there too. Oh I mean, yeah, we'll I'd just, be up for that. Yeah, right, the places we can drive just to get some Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> But while you're eating, you know, the Ben & Jerry's, what movies do you think would be good to watch? Um, gotta watch, like, a love story. Yeah. Nothing like the classic Beauty and the Beast. That's a good one. I would watch that one, too. I'd also maybe throw in some, like, 13 Going on 30. I feel like I've talked about this movie so many times. Yeah, you're obsessed with that movie. That is a really good movie. Or if you're in a sad mood, you know, there's nothing better than just, like, watching the Titanic, just eating yep. the whole carton of ice cream. Exactly. But I feel like Beauty and the Beast is by far the winner. Yeah. You know, I cannot wait for the new one to come out. I can either. March 17th. Cannot come fast Has to get enough. here faster. <laughs> I'm so excited. It looks like such a good movie. And have you seen the trailers between Oh my the two? gosh, it is so good. Yeah. I can't wait. I know, I'm excited. But Me that too. is all the time we have for this week's Valentine's Day episode of Hashtag That. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at hashtag that QU. And watch this episode and more at q3television.com. Thanks for watching.